Hi everyone, welcome to the Rugby League History Channel again. Tonight I'll be doing another video, and this one I'm going to be talking about the Penrith against Canberra rivalry. This is a, a topic that I've seen on Fox League, NRL Online, I've seen it on a couple of um, Facebook posts and things like that where people suggest that Penrith and Canberra are rivals and that they have a fierce rivalry. So I'm going to be delving more into this subject and I'm going to be looking back at the history of these two sides and I'm going to be making a conclusion of my own as to whether I think that this is a rivalry or not. So initially I saw a couple of posts on Facebook. It was after Penrith defeated Canberra in round 7 of the 2022 NRL season and there was some mocking of the Viking clap and there was also some pushing and shoving between the players after full time. So I was on NRL on nine and there was a couple of people that suggested that this match was a fierce rivalry. And then there was one person by the name of Nath J who suggested that this is a fierce rivalry. And when I challenged him to it, he said that you may as well change your name to someone else because you can't call yourself rugby league history if you don't consider Penrith and Canberra rival so I'm going to be looking at this tonight. Firstly I'm going to look at the head to head between the suits head so since 1982 when Canberra ended the competition there's been 79 matches played between these two sides. Penrith have won 41 times, Canberra have won 37 and there's been one draw so the head to head is quite close. The first meeting between the two sides was on May the 16th 1982 Penrith defeated Canberra 27 points to 19. The first time that these two sides played in the finals match was in 1989. They played in the minor semi-final. Canberra won that 27 points to 18 at the City Football Stadium. And then in 1990, the two sides played again twice in the finals. The first was the major semi, which Penrith won 30 points to 12. And unfortunately for them in the 1990 grand final, which was Penrith's first ever grand final they lost to Canberra 18 points to 14 that was Canberra's second premiership since entering the competition a year later the two sides met in the grand final rematch this time Penrith won 19 points to 12 to get their first ever premiership the two sides have also played each other in the 1997 minor semi-final 2000 qualifying final 2010 qualifying final and the 2016 semi-final and interestingly Canberra's won six of the eight final matches between these two sides. So Canberra definitely have the wood on Penrith when it comes to the finals meetings. Of course, Penrith have only won the 91 grand final and the 1990 major semi-final. However, from what I've noticed over the last two years, the weird rivalry has popped up between these two sides. And this is in relation to a couple of matches in the last two seasons which have occurred. The first one was round five of the 2021 NRL season. Penrith scored a try. Joseph Tarpany, who was a Canberra player and a substitute on the sideline, was dragged into the Penrith celebrations and he was mobbed by the Penrith players. Of course, Stephen Crichton was at the forefront of that. He was later fined over the incident and a lot of people said it was unsportsmanlike behaviour. And then in this year, round seven of the 2022 NRL season, Penrith easily beat Canberra 36 points to 6 at Penrith Stadium and throughout the, the second half of the match the Penrith supporters were mocking the Viking clap and uh, it's not the first time this has happened of course some other clubs and, and uh, particularly Michael Ennis when he played for Canule in that 2016 qualifying final did mock the Viking clap and um, a few people on social media not just from Canberra but a few other clubs were particularly unhappy with the way that Penrith Poch, uh, did the Viking clap and how they went about the whole incident. In the post-match interview though, Canberra head coach Ricky Stewart downplayed the incident and said, "If is that what you're focusing on in this game? Because we were soundly beaten. I think the way that we played is more important to talk about than some Viking clap. So Ricky Stewart downplayed the incident. Looking at this uh, so-called rivalry myself and looking at some of the factors involved i also did some research on the side i joined the penrith and cambria supporter groups and i asked them the question i said would you consider 
to the camera fans, I says, would you consider Penrith to be your biggest rival? And to the Penrith supporters, I said, do you consider Canberra to be your biggest rival? And the response that I got from both sets of supporters was very lukewarm at best. Surprisingly, the Canberra supporters said that their biggest rival was actually themselves or the second half. A couple of people did see Penrith. A few said Sydney Roosters. A couple said Kunule. And uh, one person said St George. And as for Penrith, um, the majority of them said that we don't consider Canberra a rival. They said if anyone's a rival, it's Parramatta. I spoke with a few Penrith fans that I know personally who said that they don't consider Canberra to be a rival. Um, and also with the Canberra supporters, they said that if uh, they were to consider Penrith a rival, it would only be because of the two grand finals which occurred over 30 years ago in 1990 and 1991. I think from my own personal standpoint, I've known several Canberra supporters and several Penrith supporters in my lifetime, and I've never once heard them see anything of ill will towards the other. It's never really been mentioned on the telly as a rivalry. I, I remember growing up, I, I knew who the rivals were growing up. Manly, North Sydney, Parramatta, Canterbury, Bankstown, Parramatta, Manly, Belmean, South. I never heard anyone ever see Penrith and Canberra was a rival. In my own personal opinion, I think the mocking of the Viking clap was okay. I have no problem with it. Uh, to be fair, it's not even Canberra's original idea or their, their original song or chant. It was taken from the Icelandic national football team during the Euro 2016 competition. And before that, it came from, from sources I read Motherwell in the Scottish Premiership. Looking back at the matches and the facts and everything that I've produced, I don't consider Penrith and Canberra to be a rival. If a rivalry is two grand finals that were played over 30 years ago, and a couple of pushes, pushes and shoves and tugs of a jersey in the last two seasons, if that is what makes a rivalry, then um, I suppose everyone's a rival because, especially here in England, week in, week out, everyone takes the piss out of each other. Everyone mocks each other. Everyone mocks each other's failures, songs, where they're from. It's just a bit of banner and it's just a, a part of the game. And for Canberra to think that mocking the Viking clap or a bit of pushes and shoves or a punch in the face makes Penrith and Canberra to be rivals, then I think they're mistaken because for me this certainly is not a rivalry. But as I see it most of the time, this is just my own personal opinion. I'm pretty sure there might be people out there that think that Penrith and Canberra are fierce rivals and it's one of the biggest rivalries in the NRL. But I certainly do not consider Penrith and Canberra to be rivals at all. Another point I want to make before I finish this video is over the last 20 or 30 years, the NRL has lost a lot of clubs through either being um, dissolved, merged, kicked out of the competition, readmitted, whatever, you, however you want to put it. And I think that the NRL in the past did have real rivalries. You had North Sydney and Manly. You had Manly and Western Suburbs. You had... Um, South and Belmain, you, you had real traditional rivalries. The NRL killed those rivalries through majors or restructuring the competition. And as a result, um, these days, the NRL is trying to create up new rivals, which are not rivals like Penrith and West Tigers, Cronulla and Gold Coast, Penrith and Cambrai. The list goes on. And I think that uh, the media is trying to fill a void which has been left for the last... 20 to 30 year with the rivals. So in conclusion, I just said it about a minute or two ago, I do not consider Penrith and Canberra rivals. I don't think that they will ever be rivals. And Nath J, I'm not changing my name. It's gonna remain rugby league history forever. I'm not changing it. And let me know in the comment section below what you think of this video. Do you consider Penrith and Canberra a rival? If you do, that's okay. You're entitled to your opinion. I'm entitled to mine. But let me know in the comment section below what you think, what your thoughts are. And I'll be doing more videos coming up very shortly. I'm thinking about doing some more forgotten ground videos. I've got me tipping videos coming up. And I've got more 
podcast episodes with just Rugby League A View from the North podcast. This has been Rugby League History. Stay safe, everyone, and I'll catch us all later in the next one. Tatty bye for now.